two beautiful human beings got on the bus who were to me obviously born males but they dressed as females in today's society i felt myself overthinking the situation and trying to be extra nice and understanding like my approval meant fuck all of them <laughs> but sometimes you just do that anyways i'm sitting there thinking i'm queen of the fucking lgbt world and um you know why do i even have to think about it pretty sure i said that wrong I can't remember all the terminology, but I can remember that I love everybody. <laughs> and hate lots of people, too. Anyways, when these two lovely-looking ladies were getting off the bus, my little four-year-old boy, not that one, the other one, looked at one of the ladies and said, Hey, why does he have a ponytail? And the lady said, Because I'm a girl. And my son said, No, you're not. And me sitting there, Queen Bee, was like, Yes, he is. He's a girl. And then I was like, oh, fuck. Why did I say he? Why didn't I say she? And I was like, she, she, she. She, he, be, them, they, us, we. Fuck me. It's hard to remember. But here's one thing we should never forget. Never forget that that person said, I'm a girl. And in no uncertain terms are you anybody to say no or not. Now, nah, a four-year-old kid can't. They all said goodbye, and when the ladies were off the bus, I said to my son, that person was a girl, and just because they didn't look what you thought a girl should look like doesn't mean they're not. My son said, okay. If my four-year-old son is that willing to accept it, then what the fuck is your problem? I got one word for you, education. Just because you don't know something don't mean you can't learn something, and when you know better, you do better.